At the heart of the revolutionary government is Robespierre. He shines at the podium, calling for changes of every kind. He demands universal suffrage and an end to slavery in the French West Indies. Most passionately, he rails against the death penalty. In the new age of enlightenment, Robespierre wants to discard all remnants of the medieval past. France had inherited a macabre repertoire of execution methods from its medieval past. Cruel, torturous deaths by drawing and quartering, hanging, drowning, and burning. Well, under the old regime, there was a whole panoply of very gruesome punishments, and decapitation was punishment reserved for the nobility. And one of the things that the revolution wanted from the start was to have everybody equal in death. They wanted symbolically to have the same punishment available for anyone. Despite Robespierre's opposition, a new killing machine takes center stage in Paris. Dr. Joseph Guillotin, a physician, proposes a new decapitation machine. Beheading, he argues, is a humane method of execution. A swift slice of steel delivers a quick, painless death. Dr. Guillotin describes his new device to the assembly. The mechanism falls like thunder. The head flies off. Blood spurts. The man is no more. Always a supporter of bloodshed, the journalist Mara prints an enthusiastic rant in his paper, announcing the device's new name, Guillotine. It will soon earn another nickname, the National Razor. The French revolutionaries believe in humane values. They believe that unnecessary suffering should not be caused. And what they like about the guillotine is that it is quick, it's efficient, and as far as we can tell, although no one has returned to tell the tale, it's painless. 